look at the result of that episode. It's one of the finest hours of Atlantis, and thank and in no small part to Jason Momoa's performance. He had been with the show for a year at this point. There was a story to be told there that was obviously waiting to be told. Was what happened before um, the the team met up with him and. We get to see this carried out. We get to actually see the Wraith who was responsible for exterminating his people. Jason Momoa, I mean, he said, and, and I quote, it was such an honor when he wrote it. That's what he told us in his trailer, you know, at the time. It was such an honor when you wrote this episode. And well, he had, not had a, he had not had an episode built around him. Right. You know, and, and I thought it was important, um, with, with the exception of maybe Runner, which is was his introduction. Mm -hmm. Um he had not really sort of had a featured uh, uh, role. So I really felt like I wanted to showcase that character and, you know, show you everything that Jason could do. And how was it directing him? How, what was, what was amazing. It, working amazing. through that process I mean, with him? Yeah. I mean, he, he was just, you know, any, anything you want to do. We had, <laughs> there was one time where we were racing the, uh, the clock and we had just, we were just needed to be out of the, um, the sets we were in. And I wanted the shot of him, uh, doing the two, the two guns as he flew across the, the hallway. And, you know, Brenton bless his heart was like, had no time to light that, like no time. Uh, it was just throw a light on and you can kind of see it. It's just, just this whitewash of light. Um, that we tried to fix later, but uh, <laughs> it was like, get the shot or don't get the shot. And uh, he did it once. And, you know, I, I, he, he was, he was hurting. Like a lot of this stuff is hard on your body. Like, mm. I, he, you know, he did a lot of his own stuff. Um, you know, he's wearing this, this hard plastic and leather uh, stuff all over him and they had padding inside some of it and whatever but he's still launching himself across the hall onto a very hard floor and you know <laughs> he would he was like uh uh i don't think i can do that again and i was like well um i'm gonna tell you that it didn't look perfect and but i'm willing to go with it or you know, we could try and do one more and get it right. <laughs> and I said something to him that was meant to be just a fun challenge. And it was a, it was a sort of an inappropriate thing to say. And, and he just looked at me and I was like, Oh shit, I just said something I shouldn't have said to Jason Ramon. <laughs> and, and, uh, it was, you know, I was basically trying to say, you know, another, another guy, like a real stunt man would do it. Um, Anyway, he got up and he did it again, and it looked amazing. Wow! Uh, but uh, but that's the one we used in the show. But he uh, he was he was not too happy, and I, I think later that year, like he remembered it in his head. And later that year, when we were done the show, we were at a rap party, and he picked me up and hugged me and squeezed me so hard I thought every bone in my body was going to break, and. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm fairly certain that was him remembering that moment <laughs> when I when I made him do that shot again. Um, but look, he, you know, look, he's great. He deserves every um, mm -hmm. every bit of success he's had since then. I had no doubt that he was uh, a star when I first saw him, and um, I mean, his acting has has frankly come a long way. Not to say that there was. You know, it was bad when he was with us. It's just he's done a ton of work on it, and he's you know, he's also had a lot of room. To, he's, he's also had a lot of opportunities to to grow yeah. as well. You know, that yeah. has a lot of a lot to play with as well. Yeah. Um, so I mean, look, we, that show is that 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 show was amazing. I I uh, we got to we shot with um, uh, five different mediums, like five different cameras and five different types of film we actually shot some stuff with super 8 and super really and Folex I that was a hand crank a hand oh crank okay Folex. I know what you, yeah uh, some of the memory stuff that uh -huh. war stuff um you know we shot with our our hd video we shot some with film it was uh 
uh, we shot with a high speed camera. Like it, it was just like, let's do everything. Um, Brandon Spencer had this hand crank Bolex. He's like, can I bring that? Can we shoot some stuff with that? And I was like, sure, let's give it a try. Um, yeah, there was actually one uh, sequence where I lost hearing for about three days uh, because of the explosions that we were doing. I was not listening to the, uh, this is before I actually went deaf in one ear, but I was not listening to the, to the you know, safety advisors and you're supposed to have your mouth open when you're near an explosion to allow your ears to, I, I don't know, I don't know the science behind it, but, uh, and I was on my way home uh, that night from having shot, we had done those big explosions when uh, the puddle jumper is taking off. Yes. And, and uh, uh, I was like, there's something wrong with my car radio. Cause I was like trying to tune. I could only hear out of one side, one speaker. Oh, I was like, oh, there's something wrong with this. And then I got home and I got a phone call and I put my phone up to my ear and I was like, that's crazy. What? My phone's not working <laughs> until I switched ears and realized I couldn't hear out of my head. It was head. you. Yeah, it was me. So, yeah, anyway, it's not, not wasn't that big a deal, but my hearing came back. But it was, uh, yeah, that, that show was just, uh, was just a, uh, a ton of fun, but also a, a, a ton of work. You know, we, it rained almost the entire time. There's wow. some great photos I can send you. Yes, of us in please. Our, in our rain gear, uh, trying to shoot some of those fight sequences outside. The, the the episode is so atmospheric. You know, the, the nice thing about the rain, you know, as, as much of a pain in the ass as it is for all of you working in it, is it it creates just the most, some of the most beautiful yeah, it imagery. Amazing. It looks amazing. You know, yeah. the, there, the village. It's not, like you know, not like a light drizzle. This was like yeah. downpours. And uh, yeah, the crew is, uh, you know, amazing. They, just never they can pull it off. You know, and, and you, you can watch Stargate and from episode to episode, from one shot to another, if there's like a two people talking, it's raining in one shot and it's not raining. In, and you could see the lighting was dialed in such a way to make it as obscure as possible. Or in some circumstances, you can hear, okay, we're not going to be able to get away with this one. It's just had the sound of rain. And so it is, yeah. it is in this scene. You, know, you had to make it work. Thank you for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up with that like button. It will encourage the algorithm to show this to other Stargate fans. Also, please consider sending this to a fellow Stargate friend. I also want to invite you to subscribe to future episodes right here on YouTube. We are a live show, so changes are likely to happen all the time. And if you plan on joining us live, you'll want to be the first to know. Be sure to visit dialthegate.com for the complete guest schedule so you'll know when to join us and ask your very own questions to our guests. See you on the other side.